everyone welcome back to biotechnica so today i have come up with yet another topic that i'm going to tell you uh, through the mind maps which is the stages in embryogenesis in plants so let's understand what is the stages in embryogenesis especially in angiosperms you will have this topic very specifically in your unit 5 developmental biology very specifically arabidopsis and you'll also have the same thing in case of plant physiology also so let's now understand this in detail So first let's understand how an embryo is actually formed and then after the embryo is formed how the root is formed how the shoot is formed how all other parts are formed I'm going to talk about it so we already know a one cell stage called a zygote we know when a sperm and an egg fuses together it literally forms something called a zygote because this is haploid in nature this is haploid in nature which forms 2n now we call it as a zygote which is going to be a one cell stage. So the first is going to be zygote. If I have to talk very specifically in case of angiosperms, we know the zygote will be present specifically to the micropyle region as well as to the chalaza region. So I'm writing it for our reference, chalaza above and micropyle below. The next stage is going to be a two cell stage. Now, this one cell stage is going to divide into a two cells, like a normal mitosis, so what exactly happens? This one cell is going to divide into a two cells. And again, I'm going to write the micropyle onto this side and the chalaza onto this side. So you might see the differences of the cells return in certain cases, but it's very specifically related to the micropyle and the, uh, we can say, chalaza region. And in micropyle, the cell that you're going to see is going to be the basal cell. So the two cell stage, the cell which is towards the micropyle end is called as the basal cell. And the cell that you see it above is called the apical cell or terminal cells. Apical cell or we can call it terminal cells. So now we have got the two cell stage. So from a one cell stage, we have now got a two cell stage. And from this two cell stage, it will be dividing into a four cell stage. So let's understand that in detail. So I'll specifically write only the two cell stage here. So this is the two cell stage. So I'm writing two cell, which has the apical cell and the basal cell. And this is going to be the chalaza region and this is going to be the micropyle region. And now this basal cell is the one which undergoes transverse division. I'm writing very specifically. The basal cell undergoes a transverse division I'm writing transverse division as TD and it's going to form a lot of cells. So to make it more understandable, I'll make it a blue color, the basal cell as blue color. So here the basal cell will undergo, first it will undergo one division and then it will undergo four cells will be formed and then eight cells will be formed. Like this, the basal cell will be keep dividing and then it will form one large cell at the bottom. And these cells together we used to call it suspensor cells this is called as suspensor cell suspensor cell and the cell which is actually literally present at the last is called as a hostorial cell hostorial cell hostorial cell so we have done with zygote we have done with two cell and now we are going to talk about the four cell stage now the apical cell which is actually present near the chalasa is also going to go in for division and now this one cell will undergo two division or we can say first one division and it forms two cells and then it will divide into a four cells so this apical cell is the one which give rise to an embryo and what's the purpose of this basal cells this basal cells is going to form some suspensor cells and most of the function of a suspensor cell is to push the embryo towards the endosperm. Suppose if we have to talk about an ovule, we already know a bitagmic ovule if I have to draw. Here you will have a lot of endosperm after fertilization is formed. So which is primary endosperm nucleus. So this is the endosperm. The major purpose of the endosperm is to provide nourishment to the growing embryo. So now what do we have to do is this embryo is actually present here. 
So now there are a lot of suspensor cells which are actually present. But the zygote is literally present here or the pro-embryo is actually towards the micropyle region. Now it has to move towards the chalaza region where they have to be surrounded by the endosperm. So the major role of the suspensor cell is to push this embryo into this endosperm region so that this embryo gets all the nourishments from the endosperm. So now we have formed a four cell stage. So we have done a zygote, one cell stage and then a two cell stage one is called as a diet and now we have made a four cell stage embryo. So now this four cell stage embryo is called as quadrant. Now we are going to talk about how a eight cell stage is formed, how a heart shape is formed and how a torpedo is actually formed. So now we have done with the zygote and then how the zygote is going to form a two cell and then we have seen how it is going to form the four cell stage. And after four cell, it will undergo further division or I can say this is going to be the pro embryo. I'm not calling it embryo. This is going to be the pro embryo and this is going to go for another division. So now this four cell is going to divide into an eight cell. So I'm going to draw the four cells and again it's going to divide into eight cells. So we'll literally have an eight cell stage and then the later cells which is present below which are going to be the suspensor cells are going to remain the same. So I'm just writing the same suspensor cell along with the hostorial cells. And now the first suspensor cell which is actually present beneath or near this pro-embryo is called as hypophysis. So this is also a suspensor cell but the very specific name of this suspensor cell is called as hypophysis. And the rest of the things are going to be the suspensor cell and this is going to be the hostorial cells. And now this cell has divided into an eight cell stage. Now I'm going to call this stage as a eight cell stage or we can call it an octet stage. Early globular stage. It looks like a globule. So we are calling it as early globular stage. Now this will undergo further division because it is eight cell now. Now this eight cell will further go in for division and it will undergo very specifically a periclinal division. Periclinal division and it's going to go for another division and you are going to get 16 cells. So we are going to have 16 cells. So it used to go divide like this. So onto the outer areas. So you're going to have now a 16 cell stage. And this is also going to be a globular stage only. The rest of the things remains the same. All the hostorial cells and the suspensor cells, everything remains the same. And even now, I'm, this is also going to be a globular stage. And finally, they are going to, in for the late globular stage. In late globular stage, there would be a lot of cells which will be above this area which means 8 cells will make into 16, 16 into 32. It, it just keeps multiplying like this and the embryo is going to have a structure like this. And this stage is called as the late globular stage. The rest of the things remains the same. The hypophysis and all the suspensor cell and the hostorial cells are going to remain the stage. So we have done the four steps. Now, how does this heart shape is formed and how does a torpedo stage is actually formed? So let's understand that in detail. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the eight cell stage. So eight cell stage and now it has divided into 16, 16 into 32 and it has increased a lot. And now we have the late globular stage, not the early globular stage, which has a lot of cells like this, a lot of cells. And this is the embryo actually. So now I'm the rest of the things are going to remain the same. The suspense, I'm going to write it beneath it. So this is going to be the hypophysis. Hypophysis, one of the suspensor cell. And now this hypophysis will also undergo division. So it divides into four cell first. And then it divides into 16 cells. So this is going to be the hypophysis. And then we have the rest of the suspensor cell. So we'll just write the rest of the suspensor cells over here. And finally, there's going to be a hostorial cells. And now this tip of the cell is called as the apical cell tip. And this is going to be the middle cell or we can call it central cell also middle or central cell. And then we have the hypophysis and the rest of the things are present. This suspensor cell and the hostorial cell will degenerate 
as soon as the function of them is to push this embryo towards the endosperm to receive all the nourishments. So as soon as it is done, this suspensive cell and hostorial cell will actually disappear or it just degenerates. So now I'm calling it as a late globular stage. The early globular stage starts at the eight cell stage and the late globular stage is multiplication of lot of cells. Now, this late globular stage is going to be converted into a heart shaped structure. So after this, you are going to see something like this, a heart shaped structure, which has the same number of cells, same cells. And I'm going to write only the hypophysis here. I'm not going to write any of the suspensor or hostorial cells because those role will be done and they would be degenerated. So I'll be writing only the hypophysis which has eight cells one two three four and I'm going to write the eight cells so this is hypophysis. So this is going to be the heart cell stage. So sometimes in certain cases you can see them actually getting developed like this but for now I'm not writing because those suspensor cells do not have a role at this moment. So they have a hypophysis and this part I told you it's apex region and this is going to be the central region. And what's the role of this apex region? So now I'm calling the stages heart stage. So they are at heart stage. So what's the role of this apical region, central region and hypophysis region? This apical region is mainly responsible to form a shoot apical meristem or we can call it plumules and then a cotyledon. And the central one we can say is responsible to form hypocotyl, hypocotyl and little bit of root apical meristem also. And the major role of the hypophysis is very specifically the first two hypophysis. The first two hypophysis is responsible for the formation of root cortex. And the next two, the next two is responsible for the formation of a ram or root tip and a root cap, root tip and a root cap. So these are the areas which are responsible for the formation of all other parts. So heart stage is the most important where it actually generates all these parts. You can literally see the apical region produces shoot apical meristem. Yes, I have written apical region is going to form a shoot apical meristem and a cotyledons. Yes, if it's a dicot plants like a rabidopsis, they form two dicotyledons. So these dicotyledons come from the topmost portion of this. Whereas the middle region or the central region usually forms the hypocotyls, which is above the root actually. So they form the hypocotyl and in some cases it forms roots and root apical meristem. But major hypophysis actually give rise to root apical meristem or root cortex, root tip and finally a root cap. So this heart state is the one which actually decides what are the things that has to be formed. After this, we are going to see a torpedo stage. So torpedo stage is one stage where you will be seeing the formation of structures like this. So this is going to be the cotyledon, we can say. And this part is going to be the shoot apical meristem who is actually giving rise to the apical part of the heart cell stage. Whereas the next is going to be the hypocotyls will be formed here. This is the hypocotyl, which is actually coming from the central cells of the heart stage. And the last is going to be the first two hypophysis is going to give rise to all the root cortex, root cortex. And finally, the last one is generating the root tip actually. So this is going to be the root tip. And we know the root tip is actually made up of RAM, the root apical meristem. And finally, a root cap is actually present, which we used to call it calyptra is actually present over there. So this is going to be the torpedo stage. So what we have done is from the zygote, one cell stage, it has divided into two cell stage, which has apical as well as a basal cell. Apical cell will usually be present in the chalaza region and the basal cell will always be present towards the micropyl region. And after that, the embryo is going to divide as well as the basal cell is also going to divide. The basal cell give rise to a suspensor cells, which is mainly responsible to push them towards the endosperm. Whereas the embryo is now going to go for eight cell division. Now this eight cell embryo, we are calling it as a octet stage or an early globular stage. And after this, this embryo divides into 16 cell stage and then it will develop into 32 and keeps multiplying. And then you will see the late globular stage. 
and after a late globular stage you're going to see a heart shaped stage which decides what type of uh, layers or organs has to be generated from them and finally you're going to see the torpedo stage and later after everything is formed suppose if i have to talk about where what type of development actually takes place so there are, are going to be an axile development and then there's going to be a radial development and I told axile development is mainly responsible for shoot development, which we have seen cotyledons as formed from the apex region. And we have also seen hypocortiles. And we have also seen a root apical meristem, which is a root tip and root cap, root cortex. Everything is actually by the exile patterning. Whereas the radial, how about the ectoderms, endoderms, the cortex as well as the vascular ones. When we are writing an 8 cell division, you can literally see and then it will undergo 16 cell stage. All this outer ones, this part, which literally give rise to a radial patterning. This will generate into an ectoderm and then an endoderm and then a vascular tissue and then a cortex. So now we have made a torpedo stage which has a cotyledon, which has a plumule, a radical, everything present. Now after this the embryo has to get matured. As the embryo is formed it is not matured. So how is the structure of a dicot if we have to talk about it? Suppose if I have to make a dicot embryo, it has an embryonal axis. So the embryo actually grows like this. This is going to be the embryonal axis. And you have two cotyledons which are actually present like this. So I told you the apex cell give rise to the shoot apical meristem. So from the apex part of the heart stage, this is going to be the shoot apical meristem, which we call it plumule. And from this, the stem actually arises. And this is going to be the root apical meristem, or we can call it radical, which give rise to a root. And then this central part is called the cotyledonary node cotyledonary node because from this node only the two cotyledons actually arises and the region that you see above the cotyledon this part is actually called epicortile and the region that you see beneath this cotyledonary node this is called hypocortile. So now we have actually made an embryo. Now this embryo has to go in for maturation stage. So here the embryo folds over within the seat because we are actually making an embryo within the ovule only. This embryo is actually present here and now it has got all the cotyledons everything. So now this folds within the seat and the seed has to lose water. So the seed will become a dormant stage, inactive stage for some time. And as all the conditions are favorable, then the seeding stage will happen. So we have seen what are the stages in embryogenesis, very specifically in angiospermic plants, zygote, a two cell stage, a four cell stage, eight cell, and it keeps increasing till a late globular stage and a heart shape, torpedo stage, and finally a maturation stage and finally a seedling stage. So let's go for this image and let's understand it for a moment and then we'll end the session. So here you can see a female male uh, gametophyte and a male gametophyte fused together and you're seeing a zygote. And this zygote is going for a two cell stage and then into a four cell stage and then into an eight cell stage. When it reaches eight cell stage, we used to call it as a early globular stage or octet stage. And then it continues till 16, 32 and it in keep increasing and then you have a globular embryo where we are writing this protoderm is mainly responsible for the formation of ectoderm, endoderm, vascular tissues and then a heart shaped embryo is formed. This heart shape is the one which decides what other parts has to be formed and then finally we have seen the torpedo stage and finally the embryo is actually formed perfectly. So in today's class we actually talked about the stages in embryogenesis in case of plants. So today we talked about the stages in embryogenesis in plants. I am believing that this video is helpful for you. If you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel Biotechnica. Thank you all of you.